up welcome back to my channel we're doing another vlog here while i'm at home in tampa florida um a little weekend in my life we have a fun weekend ahead it hasn't rained this whole time i've been here and it started raining today um but i've been home for about a week now and it's been seriously so much fun some of my friends from college visited for fourth of july i spent a lot of time with family just you know working out walking with my mom being out back like it's it, obviously time with my dog it's been really really lovely i actually haven't like gone into town if you will once i've just been vibing um but i was like you know what we're back on our spin grind and i used to go to camp tampa all the time and one of my favorite or my favorite tampa soul cycle instructor ellie now teaches at camp tampa so i'm nervous because she is an intense teacher you guys but she's also very motivating um so I'm gonna go to her class, and then after that, Ryan lands in Tampa, and he's coming for the weekend. I am seriously so excited to have him here. We're going to Luke Combs' concert tomorrow with my family, doing a little tailgate. I don't really know what we're gonna do tonight, but um, we might go visit Freddie at work after I pick Ryan up. We're just gonna see where the day takes us, but I'm really excited to take you guys along this weekend in my life. And, and Speak Now, Taylor's version came out last night at midnight, so what do you think we're listening to on the ride there? <laughs> perfect start to my day it was so good seeing Ellie she remembered me I was like I just walked up to the podium right before class started, and I was like hi and she was like oh my god hi she has been following she was like I saw you went to the soul cycle up there like so proud of you all the stuff so it was good um I was definitely like a little like antsy this morning I don't know I feel like I accidentally drank caffeinated coffee instead of decaf I'm really unsure on that um but I got through the class and it was a really nice sweat and she's just so motivational and it's just like so fun especially like being in a smaller town than tan like than new york city and it it's like you know luke combs concert this weekend is the big deal in tampa so she's like who's going to luke combs whereas i feel like in new york or like another big city they might you know like not everyone like likes country not that everyone likes country in tampa but i don't know it's just kind of cool it's like oh yeah we're all gonna luke combs um so that was fun I just had this epiphany too like it's just like a big week of music because Drake started his it's all a blur tour this week and so now we know the set list and so I can just get extra excited I'm going to two nights of Drake at Madison Square Garden in July this month I'm so excited and then I'm going to Luke Combs tomorrow and then Taylor Swift it's just a big week of music for me personally not for everyone but for me so I'm really excited for me um so I'm so excited Ryan landed then he just told me he has a meeting now at 11 so by the time I'd get him, he'd have to take the video call from the car, and that's just not really the vibe, he said. So he was like, do you want me to Uber home, or can you wait? And I was like, Psh, I can run errands. I can diddle daddle around while I wait for you. So I might go to Buddy Brew, because it's one of my... Actually, I will go to Buddy Brew. Not, not a might. I know I'm going to Buddy Brew. It's my favorite coffee shop here in Tampa. I go all the time. kind of want to get, like, some avocado toast. Or it's like two eggs post po two eggs poached on toast with bacon and avocado. However, he might be hungry. But we're gonna go to Buddy Brew. Buddy Brew. I cannot speak. Regardless, I also just did a little revamp in the uh, bathroom. I brought little mini perfume. I brought this hat. I put my hair down and I put on hoop earrings so I could look semi cute to pick up Ryan. <laughs> so I haven't seen him in two weeks because I left for Illinois last Monday. So, very excited to see him. So vulnerable when you take a hat off. I just got here. My maps accidentally took me to the Oxford Exchange Buddy Brew, which is one of my favorite spots, just Oxford Exchange in general. But I was like, I don't look cute enough to walk in Oxford Exchange. They have, like, a to-go Buddy Brew area, but I don't think they have the toast I want. I just talked to Ryan. He's eating Chick-fil-A at the airport, as he should. 
Um, so that means I get to have a main character moment at the coffee shop and get my toast and my avocado. Hopefully they still have it. I haven't been here in like a year. So I'm banking on the fact that they will have it. Put in my earbuds, listen to some music, or maybe they'll be playing good music in there, but I'm happy. I'm listening to Drake driving around um, Tampa, so no complaints here. Gatorades. <laughs> I needed gas, and so what's your Gatorade flavor of choice? Mine is purple. Is yours red, or is that like a today thing? Um, red for the dogs. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I can move this if you, they won't really fit in there, <laughs> actually. Um, but we've just been catching up. We're gonna go visit my brother at work. I'm not gonna vlog because he would murder me. Um, but we're gonna watch himself vote, so it'll be so cute. Finley, someone's here. Someone's at the front door. Finley. Someone's here. What's up, Finley? Hey, buddy. Come here. Hey, buddy. Oh, he recognizes. Oh my God, he's crying. Oh. Oh, he's crying so much. He's like, where have you been? He can't contain himself. Ah, it's good to see you. Oh. All right, it's time to go out back. I've got my swimsuit on from A E X A E whatever. This hat is from a store in Athens, Georgia called Indigo Child. Love it. it says locals only. And we're going to go play out back. <laughs> I say play because Finley. Practicing for tomorrow. Right Finley? Oh, I wish you could come. We're all stocked up. So many people left stuff on 4th of July. So we've got lots of things. You guys need to meet my new obsession, which is mom water. This is the mom squad pack. Um, so it's fruit infused vodka water. My friends and I saw it at the liquor store the other day and I just thought, I was like, who wants to drink mom water? Like what? And I put it on my private Snapchat story and so many of my friends responded like, wait, no, don't knock it till you try. It's actually so good. It's very light. And it's not carbonated, and at first I was like, why would I want a non-carbonated beverage? Because I love anything carbonated. However, I tried it, and you guys, these are amazing. My personal favorite flavor is Karen, which is lemon and blueberry, but then there's also Linda, and that's blueberry peach. Julie, which is my second favorite, passion fruit, and then Sandy, which is coconut mango. My least favorite, but it's still good. Like, I will drink all of them. So, I just got some more because I'm obsessed. Like, they're so light. I'm going to bring them to tailgate tomorrow for the concert. Um, and then the Holy Trifecta. Guys, I put this on my Instagram story the other day. These things actually work. These, like, corksicle koozies. I always see people have them, and I'm like, all right, cool. Like, no, no, no. These things? Let me get my favorite flavor. Where's Karen? Come here, Karen. Oh, that's Sandy. Karen, we've got, this is, it was created by a little couple in Indiana. It's zero carbs, zero sugar, 90 calories. I don't like necessarily look at that when I'm drinking alcohol because I'm already drinking alcohol, but I'm more so just like, wow, I didn't feel hungover when I drank these and I had five of them and they go down so smoothly, mainly I think because of this thing. Wait, that went in too easy. Something is wrong. Ryan's currently out with Finley. Um, but guys, this literally keeps your drink cold to the last drop. I did, I get why people use these now. Like the last sip is freezing cold. So corksicle, man, that's my little story has changed the pool game for me. I really hope they sell these in the Hamptons because I want to bring these to the Hamptons house.
Still living off of 4th of July leftovers. Got a burger and some grilled zucchini. Nothing better, baby. Took a shower, took a little nap, and I could have definitely, definitely kept sleeping. But it's my last weekend here, and I wanna enjoy it. So what did I do? Made a little decaf coffee. <laughs> I just put a little, I usually just do coffee and cream and I put a little, you guys are balancing on a whiskey bottle right now. Half and half in the milk frother. And it, oh, it just makes it so good. Um, but anyhow, the boys just went on the boat to fuel up the boat for the weekend. And it's so funny. I remember like the first time Ryan ever visited our house. Um, I was like really nervous, introduce him to my family and my brother too. And uh, when Ryan first got here, Freddie was like, hey, like you fish? And Ryan's like, oh yeah, like I grew up like fishing in ponds and stuff. And like, you know, we have like saltwater fishing here and Freddie's like, okay. And I was like, oh my gosh, Freddie's being so hard on him. Like they're not gonna get along, whatever. Later that night, they ended up going fishing together and they weren't back for hours and I was so upset. And it just became this like thing, like every time Ryan came down, like I would like lose him to Freddie. And now I've like totally shifted my mindset on that. And I'm like, wait, I'm so grateful that they want to hang out together and they enjoy their time. It's like them and Finley on the boat right now going to get gas. I get to relax and chill. They don't need as long of time to get ready. Like I think we're going to go to dinner tonight. Um, but it's just like funny as you get more comfortable in a relationship, you... Don't stress as much about the little things. And I just feel really good and really thankful knowing that they get along and they are excited to see each other. They have big old grins when they see each other. So hopefully this coffee will wake me up, wake me up a little bit. It was, uh, I just like love my new room so much. Like if you guys didn't watch my last, or the last time I was here in Florida a few months ago, or like in May, yeah, May, um, I kind of just, matured this bedroom a little bit and it's just so relaxing now like i enjoy coming in here my bed is just uh it's so comfy and i just want to stay in it so um yeah also really cute my dad just brought this over earlier he when he brought my car in to sell it because we sold my car because there's just no point it, you guys know the car was just a part of my life for so long i could literally tear up thinking about it i was so sad to sell it and he saved my driver's, my driver's license, my license plate, and he put it in here and said you should put it on your shelf in New York. And I was like, that's so cute, like a little memory of my car. I wonder if he's just driving around my Volvo right now. But, so I'm gonna bring this to New York because I think that's a really fun shelf decoration. All right, we are all ready for a little cash dinner. I'm going to dinner with my dad, brother, and Ryan. It just started thundering, which, boo, but also it's so cozy. Like, I love the sound of thunder after I've been outside all day. Um, I actually went and used my mom's, uh, so I used the Dyson Air Straight to straighten my hair. And then the only thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't give your hair like a ton of body. So I used my mom's like little Revlon brush and I'm very happy with it. The tank that I wore this morning strikes again from Madewell. I have it linked on my LTK in both colors. Normally, I'm like a small, medium, and top. I get an extra, extra small to snug it, like, and make it more of a snug fit. Um, they also have crop ones. I have both the crop and the long ones. These are my new Curve Love jeans from Abercrombie. I love them. And then, obviously, my go-to black uh, Bottega bag. These are actually Bottega sne uh, sneakers, sandals as well. Uh, and then, yeah. This ring that I got in Greece that I love so much because it's one ring, but it looks like a ton. I just think it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, all the boys are waiting for me right now and chatting in the living room, so I must be going. But I think we're going to take the golf cart and like ride around and get dinner and come back and it'll be a vibe. So I'm in a good mood right now. This is the fit. Very easy and effortless. All this is linked on my LTK. See you guys in the morning. It's Saturday morning. Actually, no, that's a lie. It is 1.02 p.m. right now. 
It has been raining all morning, but it's been so lovely. It was like thunderstorms, which I love the sound of thunder in the morning. Especially, I mean, only if you don't have anywhere to be. But yeah, Ryan and I got up. We made bacon and breakfast. And um, before, well, I actually woke up a little bit earlier than Ryan. So my mom and I watched like Vogue 73 questions videos. So that was fun. And then Ryan and I cooked breakfast, everything. And then we had kind of just like chilled because it was raining. There was nothing much to do. And it's important to have lazy days sometimes. And we know that later tonight, we're going to Luke Combs, we're going to be on our feet all day. Um, but now it's one o'clock and we need to get the day started. The rain has stopped um, for the day, I think, which is nice. It's still like cloudy, but I'm really just loving getting in a little bit of movement. It just makes me like feel better. Um, so, and I think Ryan might join me. So I'm just going to go down to our um, uh, garage gym situation and do, I don't know, I've been doing like Sculpt Society or get on the Peloton. But I'm kind of feeling like just playing music and doing weights and just seeing where it takes me. But yeah, there hasn't been much that you missed. I literally just made the bed and we're just kind of getting the day started. But my mom was like, it's so important to rest. You kids are go, go, go all the time. I love this set so much. If you know, you know from uh, Gals in the Go podcast, I had to buy new shorts. <laughs> these are the new ones but yeah it's from 437 i love it so much let's see what's going on outside what's going on here gonna lead me the way finn hi hey there let's turn the sauna on so it's ready when we're back i do 150 degrees that's all i can take all right, it's heating up. Gentle. Lower him down. <laughs> Ready? Go, 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 go. Ready? <laughs> Here you go, little boy. <laughs> hey. He just wants Ryan. Oh, I should go black. What are you doing over here? I know, I'm measuring. I need a purse for tonight. And this is, <laughs> this is you can bring a four and a half by six and a half. What's That's this? Six and a half. This is this perfect. Is this was my go to for when the rule was like that. That's the size. Right Four point five. But literally, they said just bring your Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. the perfect size. So my Bottega bag's probably too big. It's like the little what the you hand. I had this one, but looks so cute. I know it's a cowgirl. Is this from Wyoming? Yes. Yeah, I think. That's too big, probably. Yeah, it's too big. I can't believe that's six inches. It looks smaller than six. Mm. Wow. I know. I they literally said no bags allowed. It can only be a clutch this exact size. I don't, I mean, I'm just gonna have to like bring my ID and call it a day and do Apple Pay. Yeah, it's also cashless in the stadium. Oh, well, even better. But still, dang, good thing you have this. Yeah, I think this is too big. Like, what do they expect you to bring? Okay, I just showered. I've got dry shampoo, soak it in my hair. I think I'm gonna beach wave my hair tonight or mermaid hair, whatever this thing is. I think this is from Mermaid Hair. Um, I did it the other day when we did the podcast here, and I really liked how it looked with my hair length right now. 
And that way I don't have to worry if like my straight hair gets like on straight from the humidity because it'll be like crimped and fun. But I repurchased this Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Moisturizer. They have Moisture Surge and then Moisture Surge, Moisture Surge Intense. It's really hard to say. Um, and when I was on Accutane, I used to use these. I used the Moisture Surge during the day and Moisture Surge Surge. <laughs> intense at night but uh, my skin is just like gets extra dry especially being in the sun and my nose hasn't peeled yet and I've gotten a lot of sun on it I don't know if it's just still too soon to tell but I mean I've been in the sun for like a week in a row and it might be because of this because I repurchased it so I bought intense just because I need to have the thick lotion someone commented on my video and she was like I deal with this all the time so what she does is like puts like she doesn't like rub it completely in and just lets it sit on her nose for a while. So I'm gonna do that. Why not? Looks like I have sunscreen on my nose. But cause I just, I hate, hate people that work at the bank. <laughs> I do not like the look of a peeled nose, especially when I have makeup on. It just doesn't look cute at all. And I repurchased more of the Peace Out Puffy Eyes. Love this stuff. But I have one of these here right now. So I could just put this on some under eye patches i'm so excited for tonight and the rains like already happened so we don't have to worry about rain tonight because it is an outdoor stadium he's doing a stadium tour so you know that wouldn't be the vibe necessarily however i'm prepared because florida you never know and now we soak as for my outfit for the night um I think, just think, I'm gonna wear this dress. It's from the brand Lovers and Friends on Revolve. I'll have it linked on my LTK by the time this vlog is up. It's just this cute little short white dress with a bow on it. It's just so stinking cute. And then these boots from Amazon. I definitely have a ton of cowboy boots in New York, but since I was going to from Illinois to Florida, I was like, there. I cannot pack a pair of cowboy boots for one night, it would just weigh too much. And so I was like, you know what? So then I was like, okay, I'll just wear sneakers to Luke Combs. But then when I was like, I wanna wear this dress, this just need, like this just makes sense, these two things together. So I bought these on Amazon because last summer we went to a Brad Paisley concert while I was home. Like there's just gonna be country concerts I go to when I'm in Florida, I feel like. So I was like, you know what? I got these on Amazon. They weren't super expensive and I'll just like have them here always, which I think I'm very happy with. And I like these. I like how they're kind of, um, not vintage looking, but like worn. They're very worn. Look, I haven't worn them yet. So this is the outfit. Again, I'll have it linked on my LTK. I have all my outfits linked on my LTK, also known as like like to know it. Link down below, always. For jewelry, I'll probably just like do a ton of these like bracelets and bangles. Cute. And we'll just go for the simple gold hoops and they're light so I can dance around in them. No problem. And that's the fit. Just made a quick late lunch, early dinner situation. Doesn't this just look delightful? Alrighty, we're all ready. Oh wait, I don't have anything on my lips. And sunglasses? But I can't bring a bag. I think I might just sacrifice and do no sunglasses. The dress is on. Here's the fit. I'm super happy with it. I feel so cute and just fun, easy. I won't be like sweating hot. As long as it doesn't rain. We don't need like a wet t-shirt, wet dress contest in this situation. But yeah, I wave my hair. I'm still like learning. I like, are you supposed to do it super high up or should I have like waited and like started there with the crimper? I don't know. But I think it works. Here we go. Got my mom water. I'm drinking a Julie. There you go.
Good morning. Chugging water. Ryan needs a smoothie for some reason in this moment, which I'm not like mad about. So I'm gonna get a ginger shot and just gonna play revive me, but we're struggling this morning. Here. Woo! The ones have more of a kick to them. They're strong here. Uh, this is a green smoothie. It's got kale, lemon, ginger, mango. Maybe I'm missing something, but it is so good. Slowly reviving. <laughs> Need to pick out what bathing suit I'm wearing today. I love my little bikinis bag. It's from Ken's Customs um, because I wanted to do Sony Clover, but they didn't have this like big size in stock and like to customize it, I think is why I went. Um, but Ken's Customs was great. Um, anyways, last time was so much fun. Like that was my third time seeing Luke Combs, but like this time I literally knew every song and that doesn't happen a lot where you like Every single song. Like, oh my god, I know this. So that made it extra fun. Being there with my family was really special. And Ryan met so many of you guys. So thanks so much for saying hi. If you're on the fence about seeing Luke Holmes, jump over that fence, baby. You need to go. Like, it was so much fun. He's just he's just such a simple guy. He walks out there in his PFG fishing shirt, holding a beer. Like, he's just great. And um, I love his music such good vibes he did, he did a couple of covers riley green was amazing laney wilson was amazing so yeah um today is my last day here and we leave tomorrow morning which i'm glad we're not leaving today because today is like a beautiful day and yesterday was kind of rainy so we're gonna go on the boat today and just be outside like that's what i want to do i want to like dunk my hair under i just want to like be underwater and like be submerged i think i'm gonna wear this bikini because i wore it on fourth of july and i literally just felt cute in it and I loved it so much. Um, I'll definitely be wearing this more in the Hamptons too. Mm, I don't know. I think I might wear this. It's from J. Crew. It's linked on my LTK. Should I just wear it like this? <laughs> and these are the bottoms. It's literally, oh, of course I untied it all, but it is so cute. I love the print. Or I have this. No. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this one. We are outside. I found this cool hat. It's already getting humid in my camera. Testing, testing. Finley, Freddie and his friends are out there floating outside of the dock. They're just like holding onto a rope. <laughs> Dad, do you have something to say? <laughs> Finley literally just jumped on the in the water on his own. Good boy. Oh my gosh, he really you got it right there. Oh my gosh! I just want to make sure he finds the steer. Found a little life vest for Finley. Yes. He loves it. <laughs> We're at an island now. <laughs> Showered, we had a lovely pool day, came back and hang, hung out by the pool for a really long time. We're about to have a fam dinner and just enjoy my last evening here and then I'm headed back to New York City for a few days and then we're going to the Hamptons. So um, it's a wild ride but I love every moment of it and I love you guys and thanks for being patient with me with all the uploads and everything. Summer is just a little bit more relaxed and um, I feel like a lot of you guys are traveling and just not on your normal schedule as well so <laughs> I love you guys dearly and stay tuned for more videos I'll see you guys soon bye mm -hmm.